Welcome back, Battle Brothers and Sisters, to uh, episode three of our Northern Raiders run. Uh, we finished up with a caravan escort quest here. We've got uh, really nothing we can do here. And while we survive, we've got at least one brother who's pretty roughed up. Uh, reduced melee skill and 50% less damage. And it's 3 to 6 day injury to heal. He's going to be uh, suffering from that for a while. So we've got some reduced capabilities. <sighs> no one really to hire here. So we got to figure out where we're going to go from here next. And again, we're just bouncing around, doing quests. You know, I was thinking about it uh, since... Most people who seem to be watching are, again, fairly new or people who have kind of struggled because the game is tough and challenging. Um, when, you, when you're first starting getting your feet under you, you know, go ahead and start on the beginner difficulty level so you, until you kind of figure stuff out and work your way up. And start with a high amount of funds and uh, easier economic difficulty. Right now, I have to slowly kind of work and build my way up and be careful. Uh, because I don't start with a lot of funds. But if you've got a decent amount of money, it gives you a quick kind of jump start in the game. You can hire an extra brother or two. You can give everybody decent gear, which increases their survivability and damage output. And just, you have to be a little, I don't say less careful, but uh, yeah, in some ways less careful. You can, you can kind of get a jump start on the game instead of being very precise and careful about everything you do to uh, survive the first couple weeks in game. Uh, anyway, I think we came from way down here. Uh, this town is nearby and it's friendly. We could come down here as well. Uh, this town had a lot of problems last time, actually. So let's actually come down here first. See uh, if they've got any quests for us. I don't think there's going to be the one group of raiders we saw here was a long time ago. So they're probably gone. A marksman and some raiders. That is going to be too much for us at this point. I could dance around them, but I don't want to deal with it. So we'll come up to this town instead. We could have tagged along with that caravan and fought them, but again, my one my one guy is pretty hurt. So uh, okay, so brigands, seven seventy. So uh, as your renown goes up. Uh, you start getting more money for your quests. 770 is a pretty big increase from what we've been getting. Two skulls. Yeah, we're not not in any shape for a major fight at this point. Um, so it's interesting. Normally, you don't want poachers. And if you can hire marksmen, or the hunters. If you can hire hunters, they're just so much better. Um, but... I've got a bit of a problem, if you look, uh, because right now we're kind of stuck to these southern towns, none of these places are in a forest, and that's where you are going to have the best luck at recruiting hunters. Uh, I don't know if this is a forest town, that was in a swamp probably, maybe this one, uh, but this one here especially, a little forest village is going to have plenty of hunters in it. but. They're hostile, so we're not going to be able to hire anyone there for a while. And I think I mentioned in the first one, you know, you have the option of uh, attacking caravans, plundering them, or trying to leave a faction alone and let them recover. When I first started, I attacked a caravan from one of these places. And if you look, you'll see hostile with the cities and hostile with the actual faction. Whereas down here, I'm only threatening with the actual faction because I haven't actually attacked any of their things yet so um, it'll take a while to get back to neutral it'll probably go to cold after, before it goes back to neutral whereas these guys are very hostile anyway nothing here that won't have any quests for us so let's go to this place next actually let's go here first see if there's anyone to hire i could use an extra dude i've got some equipment i've got money and you can see we're running into groups of six raiders and it's just a little too much for us but an extra dude would help quite a bit and a big town like this has a pretty good chance of having someone worth hiring 
Uh, <laughs> looks like the same basic group. Which hunters are interesting? I don't normally take them. Uh, if you want to go with like a hybrid kind of guy, which hunters have pretty good melee and good ranged, and they're not nearly as expensive as, say, the cell sword that would also have a good weapon skill in both types of weapons. Uh, the squire is a more moderately priced guy uh, who's kind of comparable if you want to go for a split. Uh, the squire has weapon skill in both and high resolve. The witch hunter has weapon skill in both and high resolve. Uh, the militiaman would be the next echelon down. He has skill in both weapons and a slight boost in resolve, but not nearly as much as the witch hunter or the squire. Uh, but he's too expensive, and I, that's not what I'm looking for. I don't need any of these garbage backgrounds. I'm not that desperate for somebody, so we'll give that a pass. We will look and see if maybe we can get some good prices for our stuff here. Ah, so, okay, 16 for shields. So, not a great price, but we're in the average price at least. And I could use a little bit of money. In fact, that's my next ambition. So, let's sell a bunch of this stuff. We want to keep in general these shields are a little more useful than the regular round ones. So let's sell most of these round shields. We'll keep a couple in case they get chopped up or whatever. Don't need those. I'm not going to use those. These we can keep at least for now. Especially if you start finding Nox or um, Veter Gangers. These will be handy. Uh, we'll keep one of those, maybe. I don't need that crap. Uh, Falchion, okay, so a decent sword. Um, I might keep a few of these short swords just in case I run into some beasts. A boar spear, I hadn't seen that. That would be a useful weapon. Uh, that's already damaged, I'm not gonna repair it. Good. Uh, I don't need all of these helmets. But you can always, it's always good to have a few spares on hand. And I mean, I'm not, I guess I can sell that. I'm not going to use axes. All right. We're close, actually. 1824. Um, I mean, you know, theoretically, I could sell a little bit more and actually get enough to meet my objective. So maybe I'll do that. Now you can see these are worth a decent amount. Because uh, they're decent weapons, which makes me a little hesitant to part with them. I'm going to get plenty of daggers so I can get rid of those. I don't need these short swords, technically. Uh, that's good. Let's... Am I repairing anything? So, I will keep this money, hopefully accomplish my ambition, and then maybe I'll buy some other gear after the fact. Uh, the other thing I'm going to look at is make sure it seems i'm not 100 percent sure but it seems like if you get your 2000 crowns but then you you know pay your people right away or something you lose it right away uh, it won't it won't take effect you have to have the 2000 for a little bit of time before it procs the effect it's afternoon you pay everybody at noon so i'm not going to pay my people for another whole day so hopefully that 2032 will be in the bank long enough to take effect. And while the one dude's healing up, we have enough medical supplies. That's good. Anyone here? Nope. Again, farmers can be okay, but I don't have a banner or a lot of resolve boosting right now, so he's probably going to be more of a problem than anything. Uh, okay. Uh, this looks good. So this is a follow the tracks mission, which is normally good. Uh, but again, I'm not really fully... <laughs> I'm not fully functional. I'm not ready to take that kind of quest yet. <clears throat> so, with that being the case, let's actually come down here. They may have someone to hire. Or a quest. And if it's a caravan escort mission, even though we're a little under strength, we could handle it. Or we could just do a uh, simple cargo mission to the west, which is fine. There's another town over there. 
If you don't see anyone here to hire, we can walk over there anyway. <laughs> that guy's expensive for a shepherd. Shepherds are usually pretty cheap. Uh, normally garbage, normally not worth it. But potentially, they have a very wide range on range skill. But their highest range skill is the same or maybe even slightly higher than a poacher. So they, they can be a ranged option, but not for that much. Uh, that guy was there last time. Caravan hands are meh, but it's not what I'm after. I probably well, got five days worth of food. I don't have that many people, I guess, ultimately. So let's try and go to Tarwa, see if they've got anything. Again, looking mostly for people. And look, look, I had over 2,000 crowns for quite some time. <laughs> it's been a whole day, and I still haven't actually accomplished the task yet, which is kind of annoying. Uh, it's eight, is it? I mean, I can't, yep. A little blurry there in the sand. Oh, well, these guys will help out a bit. Perfect. I'm not even going to bother trying to jump in on that fight. Okay, do we get there? It's nighttime, so no, we don't even get there in time. Uh, I kind of want to sell stuff. No, I'm back over 2,000, though, so let's wait here until day. There we go. So actually, this works out well, because now we can give that to him. He now has a better... Better reach weapon. I mean, 50 to 70 damage versus 30 to 50. So significantly more damage. Uh, he's still not very good at hitting with it. But at least if he does hit, it'll do something uh, meaningful to our opponents. Um, what about armor with these guys up here? This guy can take the better armor. This guy, 95, 95. Usually this barbarian stuff is not as efficient. Ten fatigue. Ten fatigue. Okay, it's the same. I'm still going to stick this on him because it looks better. <laughs> if nothing else. Um, and we can give him this better armor. And then this, 110 for seven fatigue. 105 for five fatigue. So that is a more efficient piece of armor. And he's already heavily overwhelmed, so... We'll go with that. With 72 resolve, he'll be adding 7 to everybody, so that'll get everyone at least, except for him, up to the 50 range. Uh, we should repair that spear and this sword. That's only going to take, well, I think, 4 tools. So we'll rest here and see if they've got anybody to hire. Oops. Let's see. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, so they have a manhunter who is uh, potentially a, a decent guy, but that is awfully expensive. And while I'm not paying a crap load, <laughs> uh, it's probably a little more than I can afford. Two days to the northeast to Sudshansa. We need to be paid... Need to be paid more. Twelve crowns per head and seven forty. That's probably what we want to do. Or we can. So this is the. Uh, you know there are some kind of incident at a facility for this town. We could end up fighting a bunch of indebted the slaves. Um. But I think we're going to take a gamble. We're going to hire this guy. We now have enough for two more days, which is a little on the short side because that caravan mission is going to be two more days. Let's give our new dude, what's he got? <laughs> Archer, which is not what we need. Can take a lot of health. Uh, and initiative but really what is his initiative it's 107 which isn't great <clears throat> i mean he starts at 58 which isn't terrible 
Uh, so, not, not great. Uh, but I do need a dude, and he's not so terrible that I'm going to just kick him to the curb. And starting at confidence, good. So what this guy might be is a... I mean, he's going to be a dude. I don't know if we're going to go for light. I mean, we could boost his initiative and make him kind of dodgy. But it's not going to be super high. He doesn't have a perk there either. Yeah, whatever. He's just going to fill in for now. So... Uh, we'll give him that, we'll give him this, give him a shield, and let's give him that. How's that look? 71. He's overloaded, but, I mean, what are you going to do? <laughs> uh, he's going to have to make do. But now, uh, we can at least survive a bit. We have to sell a little bit more, and 16 for a shield, so prices aren't awful here. Um, let's sell one of these. Let's sell this. Now we're up to, still up to two days. We need 303 crowns. Not going to use arrows for a while. We can sell those robes. Uh, I could sell that. Oh, well, I kind of want these too. That's not worth much. Alright, we'll sell that. Now I got enough for three days. Hopefully that'll be enough. Let's take the contract. And... Alright, what do we got? Some outlaws and slingers. We should be able to wreck those guys. We've got a few conscripts. Um, let's give this guy the spear. Again, these guys are a little tough. Actually, what's this guy at? 73? I mean, he's doing much reduced damage, so it doesn't really matter what he's got. Let's mix this up, actually. Give him the spear. Give him the sword. The guy with the medium to hit gets a 10% bonus to hit. This guy gets a 20% bonus to hit. And my accurate guy is there. We'll skip on the flail for now. Should be good. I mean, this fight. Oh, well. <laughs> not, not even an issue, never mind. That's fine. Hopefully he'll heal up before we get into any combat. Alright. Um, take and complete contracts. It doesn't really say how many, but okay. Defeat some beasts. Find a location. Or raid caravans. Um, let's go with this one. Uh, again, we have to only only defeat one. And, you know, we can stumble across some kind of bandit hideout or something that's not too well guarded. I mean, you can see there's plenty of bandits around. Oh, I didn't see. Unfortunately, I didn't pause. I didn't see how many guys are here. It says many, which is probably bad. There's no dogs, though, so you can at least get a look at them. Oh, yeah, these guys are... Oh, well, so that's important, too. The caravan is not actually at, at hostile at these guys, so the caravan is not participating. If there was a neutral, like, uh, guard force, like soldiers, in the same spot, they would not participate either because they're, they're not hostile at these guys. Uh, these guys are too dangerous. <laughs> I mean, some of these guys are really dangerous. So uh, my gut was to just flee right away. But I thought, well, we'll take a look. You know, you never know. It might be not so bad. If they had dogs, we would have to flee immediately because the dogs would run forward and lock us into place. And that's not the case here. Yeah, these guys are bad news. I'm lucky that didn't hit us and do some serious damage. The other thing would be if um, our guy who's injured, if he had been injured like uh, a bad ankle or something that hindered his movement, that would have been a real problem as well. All right. Um, it doesn't matter if we go on the high ground because next turn we're just going to flee the board. And sure, you can go off. It doesn't matter. All right. 
I think this will still mean that the caravan is destroyed. But it'll be interesting to see, actually. This doesn't come up that often. Yep. <laughs> Even though the mercenaries didn't fight the caravan and uh, the caravan didn't fight back, they're still dead. So that's kind of annoying because now I'm low on funds, actually. I was kind of counting on that. That's uh, one of the things that makes these runs more difficult. Uh, and I could go to that town, but that guy is nearby and going to cause problems. So let's just go up to here again and see if they've got a quest for us quick. I think that one had a quest to actually follow the tracks, which would have been handy at this point. But uh, drive off brigands. Well... Uh, let's take a look at it. We're kind of desperate at this point, so... Oh, shoot, actually. We're also really low on food now as well. Which I could theoretically just go without food. Um, now it's going to be super expensive. Although that might mean some of my stuff I can sell for more. Let's sell one of these and buy some of that. We're making some making some hard decisions. This is going to suck because it's on a hill. So they're probably going to have some kind of archers. And now they're going to be able to just sit there and shoot at me. The good news is I see footprints. So maybe they've had... Yeah, maybe they've had people leave and it's going to be a little exposed. A few raiders. Some... Ugh. Okay, so some poachers is kind of a pain in the ass. That means there's many people shooting at me. Range defense 20, 15, 19. So we'll give these guys the slightly better at range defense shields. Uh, I could wait until night, but I don't think I can afford to. The important thing is there's only a few raiders, so I've got a pretty good chance... Actually, let's double check here. Uh, everyone's in good shape. Let's give this guy the flail. That's a better weapon. He's got an axe. With his low to hit, I think he's still in good shape with the spear. All right. Yep, this is going to be... Well, the good thing is, looks like we can run up this side and get in contact here. And they've got two dudes with slings, so uh, they're not all the most dangerous uh, for range attacks. That guy's annoying. Um, yeah, we can go here. And then this is my noob. That's fine. Go there. I don't care. Oh, I don't want him getting shot. He. All right, I guess he's on his own for a turn. Yep, I'm not going to shoot at him, I would think, but he's the easiest to hit. Oh, okay. That's even better. Hit the armored guy. Um, I don't want anyone to step into there, obviously. <laughs> uh, I'm going to wait, I guess. Since they're going to go first, we can maybe... Ah, perfect. Let's come up here, do that. He'll wait. Good. Now we can go up and swing. This guy can at least move in. Yeah, that'll be a good hit. He'll wait, and then he can come in here. Actually, we can go in here. So, to, to make sure you don't... To get cover, or to avoid cover with shooting, you have to be in a straight line. So, the slinger will have a straight shot to my standard bear here, but the slinger doesn't do a lot of damage. The more damaging guys, the archers, since they're not quite in line, he'll have cover from both of these guys. So, and then the nice thing is, while he's standing here, 
he's got a little more options depending on who needs help. He can swing up here, or he can step down and swing at that guy. Or, theoretically, he could step here and actually attack these archers. Now, I don't know if that's exactly what he'll do, but it's a possibility. I do have the dog as well. I guess. <laughs> could let it go here. I'm just worried it's going to run up to here, which is not where I want it to go. But we'll see. Alright, that's, that's okay. It'll help with this guy. That's actually great. Now, if this guy will get a bonus to hit. It's causing distractions. He's going to wait. <laughs> that's fine. I mean, it's not great, but that guy's getting fucked up. Boom! Yeah, let's finish this guy off. Uh, or attempt to. That was good. Hey, okay, I was doing all right. Um, we'll come around now. That was excellent. He uh, held him off a bit. Didn't do a huge amount of damage to him, but now, <laughs> now, uh. Could. I mean, if he steps down here and swings, he's not going to do a huge amount of damage, but I'd like to help out a bit more. So, these guys don't have melee weapons. They don't have zones of control. I can go in here and tie up everybody. And we can keep working on this guy. Man, he's doing work. Um, Has this guy gone? He has not gone. So let's finish him off. 34 is not a huge chance to finish him off. 65 is a good chance. So we'll take that. <laughs> he did hit here. He did a lot of damage to that guy. Uh, he missed him, though. Uh, so that guy is actually kind of dangerous. He almost killed his own dude, too. Good. I'm assuming the dog is going to wreck that guy soon. Uh, he's tired. But I think uh, we can finish that guy off before he gets killed. I think. That's good. The dog's doing some work. Uh, this guy is the more dangerous. Yeah, let's finish him. Hit his helmet. There, the body shot's better. Good. Oh, he swung again. <laughs> This guy's... Actually, everyone's doing pretty well this time. We're getting uh, some work done. Uh, he can't go anywhere. That dog's on a killing spree. We getting a little injured. There we go. I'm able to clear him out entirely now. And in here. Go all the way. I'm too tired. Of course, we got him down. Excellent. All right. So, not too bad again. I mean, the poachers are annoying, uh, and especially starting on the high ground, but the fact that there are only a couple of raiders means uh, we can rush in, overwhelm the raiders, and then the poachers just collapse. So, um, didn't have to wait for night or anything. I mean, it would have been easier, but not required. That armor is going to take a lot of tools to repair. Uh, I, I, it's not going to be worth anything to sell because it's destroyed, but it might still be, this is the kind of thing where you can make a decision. Like, you know, do I really need an extra set of armor? Is that important? Do I need to spend a bunch of money on it? I don't have any other armor of that value really, so it might be worth it for me, but just selling it and getting rid of it for nothing might be a good choice as well. All right, so my dude leveled up. <laughs> well, okay. So, again, this guy's probably not going to be anything special. He doesn't have a huge amount of resolve. So I was thinking about, eh, I could give him Fearsome, but is he actually going to get high enough to do that? Mm -hmm. I can't make him a tank because he's not going to get a huge amount of defense. Well, we're going to definitely take these two. Sure, sure. Let's go with some resolve, too, and just maybe we can make him fearsome or something. 
he's not going to be anything special, unfortunately. Got to take that, got to take that, take a little bit of that. Uh, he may end up, in fact, does he have, there's dodge, nimble's over here. He can't really take dodge because he's never going to have a huge amount of initiative either, but uh, we can put light equipment on him and give him nimble. And a perk for him. Actually, let's go with this. Uh, just because we're trying to max out his resolve. And being able to hit things will be useful for him. Uh, eventually, we'll probably give him bags and belts, quick hands, because he'll be switching stuff around. And again, maybe the cleaver perk so he can whip if he gets high enough. I mean, he might... He might be okay to whip uh, things out of people's hands, like orcs, things that are easier to hit. Okay, I don't think we got anything else to level up, so let's go back and get our pay. Who's was... Ah, they're gone now. That group didn't look too powerful. We might be able to hunt them down. I think it was just some raiders, or maybe raiders and a marksman. All right. It was a close thing, but we've got a decent chunk of money now. Uh, sale prices are not great, but that's okay. Wait, do they have any tools? They do. They're expensive, but they're not ridiculously expensive. And did anyone get really hurt? No. Armor got fucked up, but actual health, or yeah, health is okay. So let's check those raiders out again. Uh, we don't have a good quest yet, but those raiders might be a good uh, a good target for some experience and loot. All right, what do you got? Five. Some raiders. That is a reasonable target for us. All healed up, not armored up however and this is where it would be handy if we had an extra set of armor uh, we can swap it in on somebody so i'm going to repair it it'll be handy to have i probably don't need this many extra helmets so those i will probably sell without repairing but having at least one backup suit or if i hire another dude having a decent set of armor um i'm going to be careful I don't want to fight them yet while I'm still repairing my stuff, but I don't want to lose them. I don't know if they're going to chase... No. Oh, well. And uh, do I want to try to jump in? Yes. Maybe. So these two are fine. Um, this guy is less important to me. This guy is much less important to me, so let's have him sit out. Let's give him a better suit of armor. His armor's still damaged. Let's give him that. Give you this. All right, so he's still at 119 on his helmet. That's better than anything here. He's in good shape. He's in good shape. He's in good shape. He's in good shape. And our noob guy... He'll be the one sitting out, but that's fine. I'm less concerned about him. So, let's we'll see if he can get in here before the mercs kill everybody. I think that might have been the same mercenary unit that was trying to kill us before, but they've been hired by a different town now. A town that is not hostile. So, they're not hostile towards us anymore, which is nice. That guy's got... Basically no helmet, and we've got a flail guy here, so he'd be an ideal target. And he's right next to high ground. This will be a ideal target for us. Unfortunately, let's wait. I'm not going to walk in here and get hit. Excellent. Uh, he can come in here. Our standard bear can go on the hill. We'll get a bonus to hit that guy. And that's the target. Overwhelm Flail Man. Even better, he's been... Uh... Oh, man. These mercenaries are so dangerous. Um, yeah. 
I mean, I was thinking headshots and getting his armor, but let's just kill him before he does too much damage to my guys. Let's just hit whatever we can. Uh, oh, okay. Um, I guess we can go here and we can maybe take a shot at that guy next turn if he's still alive, which he won't be. <laughs> uh, he's good. But we got one. That means we'll get some kind of loot out of this. Oh, that guy's so dead. I didn't want to just step up next to him on the low ground. But we're in good position. Oh, man. If these guys rough him up, we might be able to sneak in and uh, get the killing blow on him. Unfortunately, mercenaries have high initiative, so they're all going to... Oh, okay. Uh, I'm not going to kill him with just this attack. I'm not going to kill him with just that one. Let's see. Oh, headshot probably. <laughs> That'll do it. All right, we get the nice flail, though. That is a nice one because it's worth money if we want to sell it. Or we could easily equip it to somebody like this guy. Um, 30 to 45 damage. 25 to 55. Uh, but it ignores shields, so that's kind of a handy perk. This gets the bonus damage to headshots, but it doesn't. You can't target the heads; so it's random. Whereas this one gives you the flexibility of targeting heads. So I'm pretty happy with that. Let's make sure to bring this guy back out. And once everything gets repaired back, we can uh, reassign armor. But that's good stuff. So come back over to here. So, I'm actually half tempted, half considering kind of equipping up and taking a quick little trip through here to see if there's any caravans to raid or any camps or ruins to explore. Uh, that Typically, any of that exploration stuff, you need to make sure you're stocked up on supplies, especially if I can't buy at any of these towns. So you have to buy food, obviously. You need to have enough money to pay your dudes. And enough tools because you're going to get into a lot of fights. Uh, I don't, unfortunately, have a lot of money. I might sell a little bit here, but I can't do a very long trip because I can't afford to at this point, I don't think. What do we got? I don't need those. I don't need these. Uh, like I said, I'm going to sell these damaged ones. Sell that. Crappy knife, crappy bow, little shield, sling, all that garbage. I mean, it got us a little bit of money. Prices are slowly going down. 244. That's still a lot. We've got six days of food, seven days of pay. That that should be enough for what I'm envisioning. Uh, still pretty much the same dudes here. They got a new oath taker, who's even more expensive than the previous one. Nine thousand and thirteen thousand. Not really in my price range. So, let's just wander over here. We'll see if there's any bandits. And if there are bandits, that'll be ideal, because that means there's some kind of hideout nearby. We can go look for that. Uh, it could be ten nomads, cutthroats, an outlaw, and some slingers. I've got five dudes. Let's give these guys swords for the bonus to hit. Uh, let's double check armor. So my best dude should get my best armor. Second best dude, second best armor. That is equivalent, but it's damaged. This, 65. Hopefully I'll get repaired a little bit. All right, next, helmets. 105 minus 6, 105 minus 5. So that's more efficient. Uh, he probably, I mean, doesn't make a huge difference, so. All right, we do want to repair that. That's still being repaired. All right, I think, I mean, 
what this tells me some slingers probably means four four slingers an outlaw and five cutthroats and they may rush forward slingers are lame <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we can cut through the cutthroats pretty easily. And one outlaw should not be too much of a problem. So let's wait a little bit so we can fix that armor a tiny bit more. And then we'll rush in. And this should be a... There's that. You can very easily tell the outlaw has got better equipment. And they are moving forward. That is a, that is a dangerous weapon. So I have to be a little careful on how I approach him. I'm going to let these guys move in first and see what they do. I would like to avoid him as long as possible. Force him to rush in so I can attack him multiple times. He doesn't have any shield. And his armor is not that heavy. And look, he says axe in three turns. So he's not actually out of action points yet. All right, let's just wait with everybody, I guess. So this is a two-handed cleaver, I believe. So you can, it takes four action points to swing. You can take a step, two steps and actually swing it. Um, and he may have rotate as well, so he could swap places. Let's come down here and see what these guys do. He's gonna have to hold up the flank by himself a little bit which is dangerous and he'll come in the middle and we'll see oh even better if he wants to step back that's fine i just want to hit that guy <laughs> as long as we can get into melee with him first we'll be in good shape and we can definitely guarantee melee with him first up uh, good because this guy will go next so we can hit him or maybe him and he, in fact he hasn't gone yet so we'll target this guy good hit that guy um let's go up here start working on him this guy is in bad shape unfortunately <laughs> so do I worry about immediate concerns or upcoming concerns? Probably immediate concerns. These guys are both at full armor. That is going to do a lot of damage, but I got to kill him to protect him. And maybe this will panic some people. It panic a lot of people. Uh, 60, 70 is tempting, but I got to start trying to work on that guy too. This poor guy. Oof. All right. That did decent damage to his armor. Again, he doesn't have great armor. And he's got enough fatigue to uh, shield wall a little bit. So let's get to work. <laughs> he's just running. Good. Oh, I should let the dog loose. I keep forgetting that. Good. Get to work. Uh... Yes, he's already gone. This guy is very hurt. I didn't quite kill him. I think I took a gamble. Good. And now he can start focusing a little bit more on this guy. That's good. <laughs> Everything is alternating. Head, body, head, body. Yep, like I said, two swings, but uh, thankfully he's missed and he's not injured, but he is wavering, which helps a little bit. He's, there we go. There we go. Not enough to break him, but uh, they're a little worried now. Can I finish him? Nope. You can shield wall and protect, maybe. 
Yeah, he swung at somebody else. I'll take that. Uh, yeah, this is a bigger threat. Still haven't been able to hit him. This guy's good enough. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, it's a general retreat for the enemy at this point, I think. Oh, they're targeting the weak guy. I'm surprised they've uh, had such difficulty hitting him. He's not, <laughs> not that good. No, he should have, he should have run. He made a horrible, horrible mistake. This guy, uh, he could get knifed or something. I'm not going to mess with it. This guy should be able to easily kill the archer, the slinger. This guy should very easily be able to kill it. No, oh, okay. we can tie them all up. I was not expecting to completely wipe out this attack, but I'll take it. There we go. So, making uh, lemons out of lemonade. Eh, it's not quite. It wasn't quite that bad. And this, I mean, it's at fifty-nine percent, and it's it's worth a thousand already. So, ten sixty-six Norman conquest. So that's good. It's a, a nice little perk. I don't think, aside from the one guy, I mean, he, he, guy's armor dinged up quite a bit, but everyone else came out of it pretty well. So I don't think, there's, oh, I guess he got hit with slings a couple times. So ideally, let's take a look, but we shouldn't take too many tools. 18, half of them. Although, if we decide to repair the rest of our stuff, uh, that sword, that's the southern equivalent of a short sword so we're not going to bother with that it's not worth it that is definitely worth it and nothing else is really worth it so we went from six i think it was 18 repairing that tool just adds one more that's pretty good i don't think we leveled up at all either we had one our awkward dude who can't roll for anything useful combat related oh man everything's pretty low all right well might as well take that uh i mean this is at least a mid a middle roll so that's good and um um oh yeah i guess <laughs> none of those were good okay this guy is crap enough maybe he does need this perk just to get something meaningful all right I think that's a good enough run for now. Uh, next time we'll do the exploration mission. Actually, you know, because we got a little bit more gear and stuff, this town's right here. Let's actually, let's come over here, sell some stuff. It'll even be a little bit of a loss, but we'll be better prepped to go into the exploration mode. I mean, unless this is terrible prices. I mean, it's 14, it's not great, but. Uh, that, yeah, we can sell. We don't need that. That armor is good for backup. That's garbage. Uh, da, 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 da. Do we want to sell that? Yeah, typically I'm not going to use that. So, and they've got some cheap food. They don't have any tools, which is kind of what I was hoping to get as well. But, okay, so we'll end up with 17 tools. So hopefully we can get into one scrap out here fully repair maybe once we're fully repaired get into another scrap and that'll be time to uh, get out unless we do something like raid a couple of easy caravans or find a uh, camp so that'll be the quest for next time explore and ravage the countryside uh, hopefully you have success in your ravaging as well but only the good kind <laughs>